Good morning, how's it going? Have you ever wondered what it's like being on a student design team? Well today, I'm gonna show you. And let's start with the morning for a meeting. Throughout this video, when I say design team, I'm referring to an engineering student design team, which is essentially a group of students collaborating together to build something cool. In our case, that cool thing is a solar car. The first thing we'll be covering is what you can do in a student design team and hopefully clear up any misconceptions out there. We'll first be focusing on the more technical roles, but don't worry, non eng students, we'll get to you later. For now, let's take a closer look at UBC Solar. The team is comprised of three main divisions, mechanical, electrical, and management. In these divisions, the teams are divided further into smaller sub-teams. As you can see, there are a variety of roles focusing in different engineering disciplines, allowing you to develop the specific skills that you want. This is great as it provides an opportunity for you to learn more about what you are interested in or apply the knowledge that you already know into a practical setting. This is also a great way to obtain experience for your resume and has helped some of our members land co-op jobs for these companies. For non-engineering students or engineering students that want to try something different, there are other roles in a design team which handle the team's finances or promotional material where you can help manage the budget or do stuff like make videos. Now that we've briefly talked about what you're going to get to do, let's see what this looks like in a weekly time. For a broader perspective, let's go chat to some of our members. Hi, my name is Reiti Azarkaven. Uh, I'm a first year engineering student um, on the low voltage sub team of UBC Solar. Hi guys, my name is Alex Izet. I am the uh, team co-captain of UBC Solar and I'm a fifth year engineering physics student at UBC. How does solar fit in your weekly schedule? Um, so basically every day consists of a little bit of solar. Um, so. What that means is along school work, um, I kind of have to work on my solar project, whatever that may be. Um, also, alongside the Saturday meetings that we have, um, the low voltage sub team holds um, a separate meeting on Wednesdays. So that's about an hour or two hours long. Um, and that gives you the opportunity to like ask questions if you have any um, and really get to know what other people in the sub team are doing. On Saturdays, the whole team comes together uh, and that's when basically everyone gets to talk about their own projects and this is kind of the opportunity where you get to ask basically anyone on the team about their project. I think Saturday meetings are definitely really helpful and really efficient in that way. So uh, I usually wake up uh, about an hour, hour and a half before my first class. Um, in my program, um, we take you know, five to six courses a term, so I usually have something like three or four classes a day. Um, lectures and labs throughout the day, and then by five or six p.m. I'm usually home. Um, at that point, I don't know, have a snack and start doing homework. Um, and then I'll probably wrap up my night with dinner and maybe an hour or two of solar work, and then I'm in bed by 11 p.m. at night. Nice, nice. Um, so yeah, how many how many hours do you uh, a week do you put in for UBC Solar? <laughs> uh, I think I tried to count once and I lost track pretty quickly. Uh, I'd say maybe like a twenty to thirty hours a week, maybe. Wow, that that is a lot of work. <laughs> um, yeah. So so why do you do it? Uh, For me, 
Solar has been a life-changing experience. I joined the team knowing absolutely nothing about this field, and I think the team really helped me find my passion. It's given me an opportunity to learn about fields that I didn't even know existed, and at the same time now it's also given me an outlet to teach younger students and engineers about how they can have an impact on the world. Um, and I think I've really stuck with the team for so long because I'm just genuinely passionate about the team's goal, you know, a clean and sustainable future. And if I'm getting to build a race car at the same time, then why not? Um, so personally, when I first found about solar, um, I really liked the team's values and I really found that the idea of sustainability and clean energy system really matched with my values. Um, later on, I found out the team is great. Everyone really wants to help out each other. Um, no one feels excluded. I got to basically work with a bunch of great people who taught me a lot um, and basically made a lot of friends, not only in first year, but in the years above. Overall, UBC Solar has just been a really positive thing that happened to me in first year. I am Delphine Ray. I am in my third year of my Master of Applied Science. I joined the electrical team's best sub team, Battery Management System, because I learned that BMS is as crucial as the batteries. You see, my master's thesis focuses on designing a single cell, and UBC Solar is a safe, fun, and dynamic environment to expand my knowledge and skills among bright and diverse students. I only wish I joined sooner. Hi, I'm Branjil Goyal, and I'm the captain of UBC Solar. One of the main reasons I joined UBC Solar was to meet new and diverse people from all over the globe. During this pandemic, we have had a lot to learn. But what really keeps me going through the, all of it is being connected with all my teammates all across the globe for unified cause. Now you may be wondering how the pandemic has affected our operations. And it does look very different. For the safety of our members, most, if not all we do, is done remotely. And we communicate virtually through Slack and Discord to hold meetings and to plan our projects similar to the format of this video. Although it's definitely not the same as an in-person experience, we want you to safely continue working towards our goal and doing what we're passionate about. And we wanted to give that opportunity to you. As we wait for the bay tree open and for things to become more normal, we're scouting for new recruits. We're looking for people who want to pursue a challenge, for people who want to make a difference I want to be part of an already incredible group of motivated, hardworking members. Now, if you think this sounds like you, make sure to stay tuned for the following steps, and we'd love to have you on the team. Until then, sit tight and stay safe. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you.